Depression in pregnancy and postpartum is very common, yet many of these women do not seek treatment. But new research out of the University of Calgary suggests this depression could have a serious impact on baby's brain. Here to tell us about what the research team has found is Assistant Professor of Radiology, Catherine LaBelle. Good morning to you, Catherine. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So first of all, how common is this kind of depression in moms? So estimates vary a little bit, but up to about 18% of women will experience depression sometime during their pregnancy and about 13% will experience it postpartum. Wow, so that's pretty significant. It's pretty common. Yeah. That's a lot of women, <coughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. So what has your research found? You've looked into this population. So we looked at women during their pregnancy and we measured their depressive symptoms and then we did that again about two to three months postpartum. And then we brought their children in for an MRI scan when they were between three and five years old. And we looked at relationships between the kid's brain structure and the mother's depressive symptoms. Wow, and what did you find? So we found that depressive symptoms in the, both the second trimester and then also postpartum were related to different brain structure in the kids. So wow. the, the higher the depressive symptoms in the mom, the thinner the cortex, which is the outer layer of the brain. Okay, the so kids. we actually have some graphics to illustrate what you're talking about. And so you actually saw these changes in the brain on the MRI scans. That's right. We okay. measured different brain structure. Yeah, so this shows the areas that were related to postpartum depression symptoms mm -hmm. in the... Uh, the mums and then the kids brain structure so this is a part of the frontal lobe the areas that we found are involved in things like emotional regulation um, behavior control impulse oh. control those types of things and which these are common are, issues that you see in children right these are behaviors that we know are more uh, behaviors that are less um, more problematic sometimes in kids sure. of mums who had depression. Okay, yeah. interesting. We have another graphic as well, and what are we seeing in this one? This is the uh, brain areas that were related to prenatal depressive okay, prenatal. symptoms okay. in the mum. Yeah, so these are again in the kids. Same types of areas related to um, behaviors that we know can be problematic in kids of mums who were depressed. Oh, fascinating. These are also areas that we know later in life are related to depression in the, in the individuals themselves. Okay. So it's a possible mechanism, we didn't measure this, but it's a possible mechanism that sort of links the higher risk of kids for mental health problems themselves when their parents had mental health problems. No kidding. And you're seeing this potentially in these brains. Right. Yeah. So these are still kids. We haven't measured. Right. They're As not. They've gotten older. Right. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. Yeah. So what is your message then to moms out there who might be suffering? So I think it highlights the importance of screening really in right. pregnancy for depression and postpartum. Postpartum we know it's a bit more of a sure. known issue but prenatally too it highlights the importance of screening moms and getting treatment for moms and support for moms right. during pregnancy so that we can hopefully um, support the women and the kids for healthy brain development. Absolutely. And it starts at the very earliest of stages. Right. Prenatally. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. What would you say to women who would say, well, you know, I don't want to take anything during pregnancy, you know, if it's the question of medication for an antidepressant, for example? Right. Well, there are uh, non-pharmaceutical treatments as well, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of other mechanisms that potentially may help support the women and, and reduce their symptoms. Right. What if there's women watching who didn't do anything about their depression and are now really nervous about their kids? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we saw an association, mm -hmm. so we don't know for sure that it was causal, right. and it certainly doesn't mean that everyone who has depressive symptoms in pregnancy is going to have a child with a different type of brain structure. So we don't, we can't really say that for sure, and I, it's not about um, making people feel guilty. I of mean, I think not. we all know that mm -hmm. they certainly can't do anything. What right. we need to do is support women yes. and support their kids. Right. And you've got evidence to show that that's yeah. a very good idea. <laughs> Wonderful. Catherine, thank you so much for sharing this research. No with problem. Us. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. All right, Andy, let's get a check on that forecast.